portrayed to Europe suddenly gained a new glamour when leading wholesale butchers Woolsey Brothers decided to take a load of prime English beef to Paris by road. Complete with GB plates and laissez-passer, the trader made a midnight rendezvous at a Watford depot to load the beef for the direct run across England and France to the market in Paris. There's nothing new in exporting meat to the continent, but conventional methods of taking containers by road, ship and rail through the channel ports has often proved costly and time-wasting. Woolsey's imaginative plan was to get there in one vehicle, thereby having the cargo in the fully insulated vehicle under the constant supervision of their own staff. Here was a drive to cut costs to reach favourable markets at the right time and to deliver the carcass meat in tip-top condition. Only possible if a run to Paris under 24 hours could be achieved. A few hours rest after loading and drivers Bluey Fox and Sidney Phillips were on the move to the Kent coast. Daybreak and the truck was making good time through Maidstone. Time for a breakfast stop. Then in pouring rain on to Dover with the first leg of the journey completed. Customs formalities apply to beef as well as to tourist brandy and nylons. The truck wended its way through the sheds like a giant among the cars collected for the Channel Ferry. For ease of handling, Norman Woolsey himself was present to watch and time each step in the venture and to see how his original ideas were working out. The Townsend Ferry is now making regular runs to Calais with motor transport. This trip, the crew were very much on their toes. It was the first run of the season. Louis and Sid were the envy of the truck driving fraternity. British drivers welcome any break in the routine of long hauls and to sandwich a sea trip however short, into the middle of a run, is something to talk about. The voyage was spent in checking maps and stocking up with cigarettes for the long, fast run ahead. The Halladale tied up and ramped down, the trader was among the first to roll on to French soil. The drivers had a laugh at the antics of a press cameraman. Customs again, and a detailed examination of the cargo by port hygiene and veterinary officials, plus Woolsey's French agents. The French officials were at first cautious of this piece of enterprise, but assured that all was well, they gave the all clear for Paris. All these delays were carefully timed, so that valuable minutes could be saved at some other stage when the regular service was established. Now the really exciting bit for Bluey and Sid. A settle down in the very comfortable trader cab, a bite from a sandwich, then tow down and away. A short argument about the right and wrong side of the road, a little light traffic in Calais, and the seven tons of meat was rolling smoothly down the long straight roads to the south. The traders are sturdy vehicles for any haulage job and can show a fine turn of speed when required. This well-known maneuverability gives the man at the wheel a chauffeur-driver feeling, particularly in towns and on the narrow roads and sharp bends found on a European run like this. Town after town flashed past, but with a job to do, there wasn't time for sightseeing. Late afternoon and the trader on the outskirts of Paris. Nightfall and Bluey and Sid pick their way through the streets to Les Halles, the Paris equivalent of Smithfield. Journeys end and the meat arrives ahead of schedule, isn't due to open for another hour. Whether or not the free trade area in Europe ever happens, there's clearly a great future for British trade in this type of no-change transportation to Europe. 
Whether the destination is Paris, Geneva, Milan or Brussels, here's a slick, money-saving, time-saving way of getting a cargo to a foreign buyer in best possible condition. And as far as meat's concerned, here's an end to unpopular shipping of livestock on the hoof. Roast beef has always been popular with the French people as a dish in the thousands of restaurants and cafes which the city boasts, and in households where good food matters. The French buyers were more than satisfied with the quality and condition of this first delivery, and now a regular series of deliveries will be put into operation at first once a week, and then more frequently if the market is favorable. Woolsey Brothers are even talking about more runs to Brussels, Milan and Rome. Here's a great range of trucks living up to its name. Thames Traders, carrying British trade fast and efficiently into the heart of Europe. 